uh, at Phil Campbell, um, 10.30 on a Wednesday morning, and um, <clears throat> I've been playing around with Wirecast 605. We recently did a fundraiser on GoFundMe to get the upgrade from 3 to 6, and I've been playing around with the features of it, and I've come across something this morning that I think we could probably use not to stop uh, piracy of online courses, but it's just an idea that I'm putting out there. Um, it's a little bit disruptive. Uh, it can be a little bit jarring with the recording experience for the user, but also I think this might be a way of kind of watermarking our videos so that when they are on other sites, uh, BitTorrent sites and ripped off the Udemy site, um, I'm not trying to find a way to fix the problem. At the end of the day, if somebody wants to copy something that's a digital file asset online, uh, if they can view it, they can copy it. You're, ne you're never going to stop the piracy uh, movement. It's just not going to happen. Admittedly, when I was 17, 18 and had no money, I have no money now, but like uh, I couldn't afford the courses. So this isn't a solution. It's maybe just a way of if the courses do get leaked, then people can see that the original source is Udemy. So I just want to put this out there. Wirecast has a really powerful feature called Playlist, and I've been playing with Playlist over the last few days. And what I've created here is a Udemy course playlist. So if I click on on this Udemy course playlist. What I've got here at the bottom is five different shots and they're live shots, they're not media items and you can modify the duration on them so you can say you want them to run for a certain time. So what I've done is I've created lots of different shots um, with different backgrounds like this background has, a, it's just changed, but the backgrounds stay on the screen for 20 seconds to another 20 seconds. But what I've done with the first one, I'm just for the, show, for the sake of showing you, going to jump back so that you can see. What I've created is a transparent uh, layer or change the opacity of the layer be below it and created this kind of random Udemy graphic that places Udemy all over the screen. Now I know it can be quite disruptive for a user watching but I'm trying to find a way where I can smoothly fade that in instead of it just snapping from that to that and causing your eye to look at it. I just thought it was interesting um, I used a great site, uh, uh, bgreco.net at Tyler, uploaded this image, the Udemy image, and then created this sequence, this background sequence. And then what I've done is I'm using that, um, where are we? I'm using that in my Udemy as an overlay. And the idea being is that we can not have protection against people downloading it like I said but you can literally see that it's from that source so I just wanted to put that out there I just thought it was an interesting use of playlists is to have this playlist where we have the same shot the same audio the same graphics you might be doing a course like I might literally be doing a course now introducing everybody to my uh, new Udemy uh, channel which is by the way I just got the the green light for audio and video from last night which is cool so this every 20 seconds doesn't it changes the the viewpoint, the shot and the sound is the same, but obviously we're just changing the background. So I'm just thinking, could this be a way of using it to watermark our videos that we upload to Udemy? Just an idea, just putting it out there, happy to take feedback, maybe we can improve on it. Um, I know a lot of people are gonna say it's too jarring. A lot of people might say there's no benefit to it. I kind of like the idea, as I'm just being a starting off as a new user on Udemy, that when my stuff does get leaked, it ends up on a BitTorrent site, ends up on another site where people can download the whole thing. I want them to know the source of where it comes from. And I'm thinking of putting in that Udemy overlay somewhere that literally this is how digital creators make their money. You know, it's not like we're going to a nine to five job. We work longer hours. It takes us a lot. It takes us a long time to create content. And, you know, we kind of, the value is actually from you is getting paid for the for the work that we do. So... In some regards, you know, if people can't afford the course, I'm quite happy for them to. I've got no choice, but they can go and steal it from somewhere. But I'm just trying to take a little bit back of control in terms of saying, look, okay, cool, but this is the source of it. If you can afford to pay for it, and especially as some of the Udemy courses are reduced anyway from sort of £100 down to $10, um, you know, by paying the creators, they can maintain and subsidize a level of life and uh, yeah, just wanted to say that really. So if you think that's useful, get in touch. Um, I'm going to dabble with it a bit more and I'm going to post this on the uh, Unimi Studio. Any feedback, most welcome.
Thanks for watching. Look to my coming on the first light of the fifth day. At dawn, look to the east. Just past that Starbucks.